everyone welcome back this is the last of our tool haul and uh, the non cobalt stuff this video is going to be a lot shorter than the last we don't have as much stuff to go through but I just wanted to show it all to you before I got it all put away so real quick we got um, a couple of little rockler hand clamps um, they were on sale so I picked them up and then we got this uh, square check tape measure accessory that for uh, it looks like it fits nicely in a corner we uh, for square in drawers and cabinets that was on sale thought I'd check that out and then you have a center and art offset marking tool I thought this was real neat um, so you can consistently mark down a board because I'm not a very good drawler so drawing a straight line can be difficult at times so um, this will make it real easy and it's got a little magnetic storage clamp so you can stick it to the toolbox or whatever and um, a little this was on sale too so I went ahead and picked this up while shopping at Rockler it's a magnetizer demagnetizer so I'm gonna stick some of my older screwdrivers in here and see how that works and I thought this was neat it's a little biscuit um, cutter gauge so you can put it up against your work and see what size biscuit you're going to need and make sure that um, you're going to have room for it to uh, kind of prevent tear out and things like that. And then I picked up um, this little Dymo um, label maker for just labeling my drawers and stuff and uh, I guess some other things I need a label maker for. And, it was on sale for I think 12 bucks or something so I just went ahead and picked it up and then we got the Rockler um, glue bottle and glue applicator I I just thought I would try this out again it was on sale so I went ahead and picked it up it comes with a few different attachments and um, so yeah we'll see how this works here shortly and then for my table saw I went ahead and picked this kit up um, I'm not a big fan of this push stick type, but um, I got it because it comes with these um, little handles, push handles, and a feather board for the table saw and um, band saw, and these will be good for doing recuts and stuff on the band saw. Then I picked up this. Uh, Dremel kit during a Black Friday sale, and I got all three of these the Dremel 4000, this 160 piece Dremel set, and this uh, flex shaft for the Dremel. Um, I got all that for $70 on Amazon. And another Black Friday item I got uh, from Lowe's is this Skill 30 piece router bit set. I didn't have any router bits so I thought that this would be just at least a good start and um, it was half price of those so then moving into our bigger items this is going to be our primary router we do have the cobalt router and table so that'll stay attached to the table but then we got this plunge router it also comes with a fixed base and uh, it's a Bosch I think 2.5 amp uh, 2.25 horsepower um, variable speed I believe I might be wrong about that I'm sorry now it says 8,000 to 25,000 rpm so I believe it's variable speed yes variable speed uh, plunge router and we're going to put this thing to work uh, this weekend when we start our first project as well as this dovetail jig a porter cable dovetail jig I went ahead and got the uh, deluxe dovetail jig combo because if I ever do want these individual jigs they're kind of expensive to buy and it was cheaper to just buy it all at once buy it now so we'll be using that this weekend too and that completes uh, this tool haul quick and easy not much there I just didn't have time to shove it all in one video with all the cobalt stuff I got as well so that's it now I can pack all these tools away and we can get our workbench set up and 
start on some projects um, after I wire in some more outlets as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions or comments about anything here, just uh, leave it down in the comment section or follow us on over to our Facebook page and chat with me there. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night.